Welcome back to Pick Up Lines, or if you're new, hi, I'm Sadia, and today we're gonna explore some more bento box meal ideas. This bento box video is extra special, if I do say so myself, because it's a double whammy. These are both dinner and lunch ideas, and the reason it's make ahead is that you can make these recipes ahead the night before, enjoy it for dinner, and then take the delicious leftovers with you for lunch to work or school. The only thing you might need to do is assemble one or two quick things in the morning. And you know the drill, all the recipes I'm gonna share with you today can already be found on the Pick Up Limes blog. So the link to each will be in the description box just down below. And if you don't have bento boxes, don't worry about it. Any lunch container will work just fine. But on that note, I am giving away a few of these bento boxes. So if you're interested in learning how you can win, stay tuned to the end of the video. For now, let's just dive right into those recipes, shall we? Let's dive in with bento box number one, which includes these protein packed stuffed bell peppers. It's protein packed because we're using vegan mock ground beef as well as some mung beans, but you can use any beans or lentils that you like. And if you can't find mock ground beef at your local grocery store, just substitute it out for some more beans and rice. I'm using pre-cooked brown rice and mung beans for this recipe. I usually batch make my grains and legumes on the weekend to make meal prep during the week much faster. So in a pan on high heat, add a teaspoon of oil and one chopped onion and saute until lightly browned, about five minutes. Then add three cloves of crushed garlic and saute for another couple minutes, adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan. Then add the ground beef and right after this, add one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of Italian mix, a bit of freshly cracked black pepper and a dash of salt. Then cook for another two to three minutes to allow the flavors to meld. Finally, add three quarter cups of pasta sauce, one and a half cups each of cooked brown rice and cooked mung beans. Stir to combine, and if you like olives as much as I do, you can also add half a cup of chopped olives at the end. Now to the bell peppers. Cut six of them in half lengthwise and discard the seeds and membranes. Sprinkle the insides with a little bit of salt and then stuff the peppers with the rice mixture and place it in a baking dish. Bake it uncovered in a 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius oven for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on how roasted you like them. The bell peppers should come out slightly charred and smelling delicious. Now comes the garnish. I used diced red onion, fresh cilantro, avocado slices, and chili flakes, but you can use hot sauce too if you prefer. It makes for a wonderful dinner and equally amazing leftovers. I'd only recommend that if you do add avocados to slice it up fresh in the morning before taking this lunch on the go. Now with dinner, I serve this easy to make mung bean and spinach salad with a sweet citrus vinaigrette. We first make candied walnuts by dry roasting a third a cup of walnuts on medium high heat until it's lightly browned. Then drizzle on a teaspoon of agave syrup or maple syrup, stirring for another 15 or so seconds, and then remove it from the heat. To a bowl, we're gonna add two cups of spinach, a shredded carrot, half a cup of cooked mung beans or any other beans that you prefer, some cucumber slices, and then top it with the candied walnuts. For the dressing, we just mix together the juice of half a lemon, one tablespoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of agave syrup, and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now for the bento box to accompany the stuffed bell peppers, I just added in some fresh strawberries and blueberries, as well as the salad that you can prepare the night before. Just make sure that you serve the dressing on the side in this case so the salad doesn't wilt. So that's the conclusion of dinner number one, or make ahead lunch bento box idea number one. Moving on to bento box idea number two, we begin by making this spicy garlic wok noodles with stir fried veggies and tofu. And don't worry, if you don't like it spicy, you can leave it out, it's still gonna be delicious. Now for this recipe, I used pre-seasoned tofu strips, but you can make your own or just omit it if you prefer. After slicing about 250 grams of mushrooms, I added it to a pot on high heat with about half a tablespoon of oil. You'll see that the mushrooms are gonna start to release a lot of moisture. So after about five minutes, you can turn the heat down to medium high and let it cook until most of the moisture is gone. In the meantime, chop one medium red onion, mince four cloves of garlic, slice one carrot, and cut a large bell pepper into strips, or two medium-sized bell peppers. Finally, break half a head of broccoli into bite-sized florets. One side note, for this recipe, we'll be using soy sauce and an Indonesian sauce called ketchup. It's like a sweet soy sauce and can be found at most Asian supermarkets, but if you don't have it, just substitute it out for more soy sauce instead. Now back to the pot. When most of the moisture is evaporated from the pot, add the onion, tofu, and garlic and saute for five minutes. While this cooks, prepare the wok noodles according to the package directions. And then returning to the pot, we can add the remaining veggies and saute for another five minutes. When the noodles are ready, drain it and rinse it under water to prevent the noodles from sticking to one another. Finally, we'll add two tablespoons of sambal or other hot sauce of your choice, or you can omit it, a tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce and two tablespoons of ketchup. 
Stir to combine, and that's it. Now, you can serve the noodles and stir fry separately, or you can combine it all together into one pot and serve it together. Don't forget to garnish with roasted sesame seeds and enjoy. Now, aside from this being a regular dinner in our home, it always makes for great leftovers to take for lunch. Simply add it to your lunch container, and I like to serve it with some sweet chili sauce too. As for the after dinner dessert, which can also be taken for a snack, are these nutty granola apple bites. Really simple to make. Just slice an apple into wedges, layer on a nut butter of your choosing. I used roasted hazelnut butter. Sprinkle on some cinnamon and dip into your favorite granola. I used my homemade granola. I'll link it for you below, but store-bought will work too. Then drizzle on some dairy-free dark chocolate that was melted in the microwave. Again, to make this quicker, you can just serve the chocolate on the side. In the bento box, I could fit the equivalent of about half a peeled orange and half of an apple, but of course, you can take as much as you'd like. So that's the conclusion of dinner or make-ahead lunch and snack idea number two. It would be best if you can prepare the apple bites on the same day you plan to eat it, but I've also eaten it the next day and I still thoroughly enjoyed it, so it's your choice. Finally, let's move on to bento box idea number three. This is a dinner and lunch I've been gravitating towards a lot lately. It's a roasted cauliflower and roasted potato hummus wrap. We start by cutting three medium potatoes into one centimeter cubes so that it's finished cooking at the same time as the cauliflower. Then we break apart half a medium head of cauliflower into bite-sized bits. Add this to a baking dish and toss in one tablespoon of oil. And after it's coated, you can add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of paprika powder, and some salt and pepper to your liking. Then bake it in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit or 205 Celsius for about 50 minutes, stopping on occasion to stir. When it comes out, you'll see it's nice and crisp and it's reduced a fair bit in volume. To assemble, just spread some hummus onto a whole grain wrap. For homemade hummus recipes, I'll leave them for you in the description box below or just use store-bought. I then spread on some sweet chili sauce, which goes really well with the potatoes and cauliflower, and then I added on some diced cucumber, cherry tomatoes, green olives, of course, avocado, fresh spinach, and then the roasted potato and cabbage mix. Then roll it up and enjoy for dinner. If you're taking it with you for lunch, it's best if you can make the roasted veggies the night before and then quickly assemble the wrap in the morning for freshness. I just serve the leftover filling on the side to enjoy with my wrap later. As for the after dinner dessert, which can also be enjoyed as a snack after lunch, I made this super quick homemade fruit salad. You can use any fruit you have on hand. For the dressing, you'll need the zest and juice of half a lime and two teaspoons of agave syrup. Of course, this is optional. To a bowl, I added grapes, mangoes, strawberries, kiwis, and blueberries and poured over the dressing and tossed to combine. In my lunchbox, I also served some of my homemade candied sesame almonds as a snack on this day, but you can use store-bought nuts too. If you want the recipe, it can be found in the description box as always. And finally, I added the fruit salad to the bento box. If you chop the fruits the night before, don't add the lime dressing until the morning you plan to eat it so the fruit stays fresh. And that's a wrap for dinner and lunch bento box number three. I hope that you enjoyed these three new dinner or make ahead lunch recipes. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, that way I know to make more videos like this one. And a lot of you have been asking where I got my bento boxes from. It was ordered online from a company called Mon Bento. I am in no way sponsored by them, but they did reach out to give me three of their products as giveaways to members of the Pickup Limes community. So if you're interested in entering to win, a link can be found in the description box below. It'll take 30 seconds or less for you to apply. So good luck. And to anybody who is going back to school in this next week or maybe going back to work, I want to wish you all the best in the year to come. All right, Pick Up Limes signing off. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in just a few days. Ciao!